Check it out. Wesley Bryan had one of the longest putts we've seen all year. Great speed. Wesley Bryan. The greens were friendly to golfers in the morning at the Dean and DeLuca Invitational. Wesley Bryan takes the cake with that 79 footer for birdie on the sixth hole. I'm Morgan Francis in for Taryn Schaefer. About half the distance, but just as impressive, was John Rahm on the sixth. Boy, that sure that's good, good, didn't it? The whole way down. Number four in the FedEx Cup standings, Rahm finished four under par, tied for fourth going into Friday. Two-time champion Phil Mickelson finished strong, three birdies on the last three holes. He ended his round with this long putt on the ninth and enters day two, tied for seventh. Yeah, it was a it was a fun day. It was fun to be back. I haven't been back here a little, been in here in a little while, and it was fun to finish the round with a few birdies. We we got a nice break because it was pretty calm this morning, and we had an opportunity to, to get it going early. What a difference a few hours can make when it comes to the wind. Returning Dean and DeLuca champ Jordan Spieth goes back to his old putter after just a week, and the old faithful saves him on the ninth for par. But the driver not cooperating today. He only hit five fairways. In his defense, it started down the left side, Peter, and that wind didn't take any time but to grab it, and it didn't look that bad when it left the bat. Just look at Spieth's scorecard. At least it's not boring golf, but one double bogey, four bogeys, six birdies, and maybe a partridge in a pear tree. A strong wind for Spieth was nothing but a light breeze for Brant Snedeker. He uses his driver off the deck on 11, nearly holds it for an albatross. Oh, fantastic. Holy cow. Is that any good? After day one, Derek Fathauer has a share of the lead. He nails a 31-footer for birdie on the par 4 10th hole. His best finish on the books was when he got third in October of 2016. Fathauer played nearly flawless golf with six birdies and a bogey to get the early clubhouse lead shared with JT Poston and Kelly Kraft at five under par. Be sure to tune in to PGA Tour Live at 8 a.m. Eastern time to catch all the action from the early groups. I'll see you back here for the Takeaway Friday night.